With developing the story right now, it's the end of the first day back in business for some Office of Motor Vehicle locations. All of them were closed after a ransomware attack last Monday. We've been reporting on that for the entire week. Take a look at this video. It's from the main OMV location on Independence Boulevard in Baton Rouge. Lines were long, totally out the door. As you can see right here, people waiting to get their business taken care of. You may recall that the ransomware force uh, OMV office and some other state agencies to close because of that attack. As NBC Local 33's Courtney Williams reports, some were happy about the reopening, while others say they are still frustrated. It's been rough. I need to get to work. The Office of Motor Vehicles finally opened its doors after being closed for a week due to a ransomware attack, and many were feeling good with the office's quick action when the doors opened. I was feeling great. I was feeling good. I zoomed on down here and zooming on out of here. <laughs> and we got up early this morning and got out here about 7.30 and everything was fine. Before the doors opened at 8, an OMV official told those in line that only ID and driver's license services were being handled, which upset many who stood outside for more than an hour and have been patiently waiting the last seven days to get inside. It's a frustration in knowing you've been waiting every day thinking it's going to be back up. Then you finally get to that point where you think it's going to be fully back up and bam, it's still closed. Officials said anything that needed to be processed can't be done and certain systems are still down. Those who rely on the OMV for work say they're not sure of what to do next. It's been horrible for two weeks. I've been trying to get a plate for my truck on the portion tag and I can't because the system is down, okay, and we can't go to work. We're paying thousands of dollars in insurance and it's just horrible. Some say the system they need to get processed through won't be up until after Thanksgiving. And one man who drove from Prairieville says the uncertainty is stressful. That could be Friday, that could be following Monday, and everything pertains around my license to be able to work. If I'm not able to work, I'm able to provide for my family. And so, yes, that's, that's very frustrating. With many still waiting, the Office of Technology Technicians are working to fully restore services, but it's just a matter of when. I know they're working hard. I know, you know, things happen, but it's frustrating. Courtney Williams, NBC Local 33 News. And there's no word yet on when all of the OMV online services will be fully restored.